legendary, legendary welcome everyone to another episode of the Manchester United Rebuild Manchester United series. Don't forget, if you're enjoying this series, don't forget to hit the like button down below. It really does help support the channel and subscribe if you are new as well. Um, down below, I'll say links to my social links as well, and they should be on screen down that... Down, no, um, that's... I can't, I can't point in the right direction. The other side, whatever. Um... That side, no, that there we go, got it right. Oh, just my brain can't work. That side of the video is very soon for Twitter and Twitch and all that stuff as well. So I'm recording the daylight, guys. I'm streaming tonight as well um, on Twitch, my time. Not sure about the day you've seen this video because it's a long shift at work, so I don't know if I'm going to be uh, able to stream. We'll see how I feel. Um, so yeah, um, one of the bridge of async divide today because I wasn't sure what else to show really. Uh, there wasn't really much really to talk about um, or to, um, you know, or jump into my mind to show. So Enzo Cavani, um, he's playing more football. Uh, you'll see why in a second when I get to it. But yeah, um, he is a good player. He just needs to score a goal, more goals really. Um, and we are, and that's a common theme that you're going to see in the off-camera games is lack of goals. But anyway, let's look at the games now and show how we got on. Listen, guys, we've we pushed our bin, and it was a struggle to get the first goal in this game. Our only goal, Ram Saka got the ball on the right hand side, beat his man in the penalty, and fired it in for 1 0. The frustrating thing um, was that we just dominated the game, just didn't take our chances um, when we got them. But we got the win in the end, which was the most important thing. But yeah, um, it, it was frustrating. And a goal rolled out at the end with Greenwood as well. But it's a clean sheet and a win, um, so I'll take it. And uh, then our first Champions League game, uh, good ball to both top four from Paul Pogba, Cavani's thrown goal, and he puts it in the back of the net for 1 0. And again, it was a similar story to this game, really. We dominated the match, we just couldn't find that second goal. And um, they did push on at the end and they could have won, but there wasn't really anything of note that I really thought they were going to score from. Um, but it's a clean sheet, it's our first win in Champions League, so, you know, we can't complain too much, can we? Never straight in game against Leicester City. We were a better team in this game. We just again, it was coming this result to be honest with you. Just didn't not just not score enough goals uh, at this point. This then prompted a bit of a training uh, session. Um, well, training schedule of increased um, focus on conversion and creation. Um, yeah, happy with defensive side of the things. Happy with the style of football. Just the final third. Just no one's really looking like. At this point, they're going to be consistent in front of goal. So he did prompt that in training. But then, different story against Lazio. We scored two goals in this game, um, which was great to see. Tez gets the ball in the penalty area towards Cavani, flicks it onto Greenwood, and a lovely finish on the first time shot from the, from the English from the Englishman. Then we got a penalty, and put it back in net, keep a good touch to it. We could have got more goals in this game. We really could have done. And um, the goals expected ratio was 1.23, so probably in line to what the points were. But I felt we looked lively enough to get more goals. Um, but again, it's a clean sheet in Champions League. Two games out of two in the Champions League. Three, six points. Perfect start. So the league table looks like this. We are currently two points clear at the top after, after dropping points um, against Leicester. But still, if you take it, if you said we start this at the beta, that you'd be playing, you'd play six games and you've got five wins out of six and um, not, not, lost none, I would have take, I would have snapped your hands off with that. And the fact is, positively, we're solid defensively. That's a positive. Um, and that's the way I'm focusing on. As you can see here, only one goal conceded all season. That will change, I am certain of it. And Champions League group, however, is very interesting. Our, today's second opponents, Real Madrid, are currently bottom of the table. So if we beat them today, they could be in danger, not qualifying. But the main thing is we've got a good start to the campaign. I think Gladbach and Lazio, we can beat them again. Um, I don't think it's, if you just up our performance level in terms of goal scoring, it shouldn't be an issue. So today we've got two games against um, Arsenal and Real Madrid, and hopefully we can get two wins out of two. Um, let's look at what he says here. Um, it wants to make some changes to the lineup. I'm going to go with this um, today. I've changed one thing. Well, actually, I'm going to change pop back to the running playmaker. Um, I'm put the fullbacks on attack, complete for complete wing back attack, just to see if they can get forward more. I noticed a lot of times we're getting forward areas and they weren't really bowing forward enough, or not consistent, or not at least not consistently enough. So I've shot them forward. Rashford is a big problem though. Rashford is out um, for um, four or seven weeks, so he's back soon hopefully. But he got an injury, um, hamstring injury, which is not great. Um, and yeah, not been ideal. But Cavani's going on football now, so let's get, let's, get, let's get to see him play today from the start. Um, go to match. Let's see if we can get the win today, folks. And 
thoughts on the 2D uh, screen, guys? I'm not sure which which one, which one I want to go with it. Um, let's go with yeah, I go with that one. Not a credit. And let's go. Um, well, we're actually in 3D right now, but we're not going to show 3D because if you if you guys want 3D over 2D, then let me know. But um, I don't like how this looks. I prefer the old style, but we'll go with this now for now. We'll go with this screen for now, guys, because it allows you to see the full team full pitch rather than um, you know me me you know blocking out the screen off. So Arsenal, Old Trafford, three points on the line. Hopefully the team can perform and get some goals and get them. There's the corner kick, curls it in. And it's clear by David Luiz to Greenwood into the box. Greenwood, Tellez, Sal, Martial. And it's a bit of pinball wizard in there. And it's gone wide. It's gone out for a throw in. Literally, this is the first highlight of the game other than the kickoff. And that's worrying me a lot. Baron's thrown goal. Baron Yang and won the Arsenal. Yeah, we've been really poor in the last few months, unfortunately. Um, and now we've gone behind. We've got to score more than one goal in this game. But yeah, first highlight of the game for Arsenal. 1 0. It's poor. Um, we just don't. Track any of the ways when it's like go in there, he's just not getting tight. Any oh, poor, and then near post over here, can't sit down this back of the net. But we, we, I think this team needs a bit of an ass kick up their ass because they've not been playing well, um, really in the last few weeks. Half time, useless is the word I describe that team. Um, I'm gonna throw a bottle around in this. I'm not pleased with what I just saw. I'm also going to change tactics a bit as well because we're not creating anything. Oh, Pogba, not a single highlight in attacking third. So I'm just going to change things here and go in much higher tempo. Hit Bird across into the penalty area. Um, go a bit further wide. Um, just got to change things here because nothing's working right now. So um, run at defence more as well. Um, again, it... it it's all about learning, learning the um, game and what changes we, we need to make. But we've not been playing well the last few weeks overall, and it may be the first defeat on the cards here, unless they can pick up their performance second half, which they can't be any worse. And lose the ball in his own half. Bamiyang, I mean, probably losing the ball in his own half. He doesn't get the ball forward more. Just beat your man. Martial! That's the closest we've come to a goal today. Is that from Martial? Again, the pressing's not there either today. We're not pressing enough. But we're not looking to see the goal now, do we? Greenwood, Pogba, great ball to Cavani. In on goal. Cavani, equaliser. He's not been looking, he's not, he's been looking a bit more likely in the last few minutes. And Edison Cavani has got his first league goal for the club. Um, he's gone in Champions League, of course, and other competitions. But Pogba gets the ball, great ball over the top. Finally, he gets that bit of space. And Cavani fires it in for 1 1. And. I'll take it. We've been we've been off the pace all massively today, but Cavani's got us a lifeline. We can maybe turn this around now. We got people Mills to give it to. Okay, that wasn't really on. Um, just the odds of him getting through there with the remote. Tell us down the left. Can you find a cross? He can to Cavani. That's exactly what I wanted him to do. Tell us gets that ball in the penalty area, and Edison Cavani has turned this around for us. On his own. I say he needs to score more goals in the league. And he's done it today. Tellez down the left hand side. Gets this ball in the box. It's a brilliant ball in. Look at this. Just fizzes it. Fizz it. Oh, it's, what a void in this Cavani that is. Manchester United 2. Arsenal 1. It didn't look likely in the first half, did it? But it it's looking downside better now. Now Cavani. Oh, well done Cavani. Now he needs support here. Well, maybe not. <laughs> he's gone for goal himself from that angle. Bit ambitious. David Luiz, Jacker, Thomas Partey, Bruno gets it back. Oh no, doesn't like it's his own goal. Right, I'm gonna actually just um, I'm trying to think how we can mark Thomas Partey. Um, uh, I'm thinking we take off Pogba, being on Scott McTominay. And making a bomb midfield to support, maybe, and just getting to mark Thomas Partey out this game. Mark Titer, Thomas Partey, there we go. And just to see if we can just, just disrupt that. He seems to be the guy that's causing the most problems for us. Just trying to shut him down now. Pogba's been brilliant in the game with his assist, but I want to, I prefer Bruno to Pogba. Um, oof, Gabriel's on wide. Just trying to shut down Partey in that midfield. Good goal with Silas for us now. Bruno Fernandes in the box. Martial. Tellez, shoot, he's got it. 
this is actually a surprising result. We've scored three goals after being absolutely crap in the first half. Um, Manchester United three, Arsenal one, and Tellez gets his second goal of the season. Bruno Fernandes flicked away by Bellerin. Tellez fires it in, and that's a great result. for it. That, well, no, It's a great goal and possibly a result as well. Fantastic. Uh, big surprise this is happening based on how the first half went. Holding, Bellerin, fires it forward. It's much better from Mr. Bacano. Sal. Now Martial down the left. Ooh, trying to get the ball through. Gets it back though from a loose ball. Martial's through and it's gone wide. Through in for Arsenal. Bellerin throws it into William. Now Thomas Partey. Aubameyang. Oh, what a hit. What a hit. 3 2. I mean, suddenly now this game looks a lot different, doesn't it? But we just need to concentrate for five seconds and we didn't do it. Um, I want to see this again. See if there's any, any errors here from a defensive position. One mistake is not tight enough to him. I don't know where he's going there. That's uh, okay. That was really weird. Again, the shot is great, but he needs to be tight, tight to him initially. Um, but yeah, three two. Suddenly, a different game in it. One last chance for Arsenal to win this game or equalise this game. Just got to defend half decently in the next few minutes. Shaka, get out to him, lads. The free blow the whistle, please. Ref, ref. It's not three two. Arsenal score is it? There we go. Three two. Yeah, we, we need to be. That's the first time we look dodgy at the back all season. But I'll take the victory. And only one sub. Kind of annoying. Um, but our goals expected was 1.58. We scored three. So we were ahead of. Yeah, so I'm fine with that. Um, good, good, a great victory. It is against. We're all down. We're all down at half time. Playing absolutely useless. Playing, not doing anything. To suddenly scoring three goals. Nice to see that two games in a row now. We've scored more one goal in the game. That is fantastic. So yeah. On now to Real Madrid, and hopefully we can continue our Champions League form because if beat Madrid, then we're looking good for Champions League qualification. Right, folks, just before we get to the Madrid game, I've given Green a new contract because why the hell not? Um, he's a regular starter now. He's my main choice right winger, unless I get super inspired and somebody else. So he's happy with that as well, which is fantastic. Um, just he needs to get scoring some goals now uh, to try and um, justify that new contract. So, guys, the owner of Manchester United, Scott, take over, talk of takeover. Um... That's that's kind of annoying. Um, I like it. I can take over United. I want these guys out of the club in real life as well. Uh, so look at the club, in, club information here. He loves the club, but I hope if someone's got like a eight billion dollars to spend on or pounds of currency they want to sell it in, wants to come buy United in my say, then please do so because I would love you to come and um, give me even more money and just get these guys out of the club. But anyway, um, I keep I'll keep you updated on that. Right, folks, here we are at match day number two against Real Madrid. Probably the biggest game we've had in this in the series, right, so far, you'd say. I mean, obviously City and Arsenal are, are up there, but Real Madrid, you know, it's kind of got to be the best one. So, um, Benzema, let's go. We can put high energy engagement, yeah, I think, yeah, because I'm not, I'm not looking at that team. It doesn't smack of pace, does it, let's be honest. Um what else? Um, I want to. I want to attack them. I want to attack these guys because I like them. Madrid, the players that play for them, the players that played on the years for Madrid, I like them a lot. I like a lot of them. The fans and club, not so much. Um, so yeah, uh, Lindelof not fully fit. Rush is not fully. Rush is not fit. And even than Babu, so that's annoying. I want to see when the Babu's fit again. I want to get him in the team more because I want to see if he's better in the attacking fullback role than Mamma Saka is. In theory, he should be, but you have to wait and see. So yeah. Um, Yeah, a lot of credit. Let's go with it. Let's just see if we can get the win. Because I think, to be honest, guys, I'd take a draw right now against these guys. I really would. Because it's very really good still. And we've got two wins out of two. So seven points out of the first three would be a good start. Would be, would be a good start. But we'll see how it goes. What is it? That's Comp of Guard. That I thought was a normal highlight. Nothing going on. It's 1 0. It's Martial. Um, okay. Yeah, if you want to do that, if you want to do that, United, then go ahead. What a ball that is! And then Martial with a nice little finish, one nil the Bernabeu, and this is a great start. And it's kind of I was waiting for the end of highlight, the next highlight coming down the line. But okay, I'll take it one nil, brilliant start. Now Sal, can you find that pass? You can to good the far post. I mean, take a touch there maybe, but still a good, good move. Last height of the half, corner kick for Madrid, curling Ramos. Over the bar. They've definitely had a couple of in chances or moments in the second half of the first half. Um, we are s slightly looking better than they are. Um, I think it's a fair result. 
Uh, but this is a so far. Uh, I'm going to say Dog and Dog Place out there because this is a a massive coup if we can get it. Um, because again, I still the Madrid has been better united on the game, and also I'm also I'm manager, so you know any result, any wins a massive coup in my opinion. Um, so yeah, um, one nil, keep it going. Get the second. This game could be over. But Wan Bissaka is fantastic on this game defensively. Just downsize, you can't, you can't attack that well. But we kind of knew that, kind of knew that already, didn't we? A Martial. That's a foul. That's a foul from Ramos. That's a red card, surely. First red card of the series, I think we've seen, and it's from Sergio Ramos. I was pausing it here because they, they've got a lot of space down their right hand side. So I'm thinking we focus down. We focus that. That's our. That's our left. So I'm thinking we just do. We, we just do this. We go with uh, focus play down the center, overlap on the left, hit early crosses, and just focus on that right on that, on that left hand side and, and go very wide as well, uh, or at least wide and pass. Just, just focus down that down that side because there's, there's no one covering um, down that side, down that down that down there. So hopefully that could be a way in for us and cause then some problems. In theory, anyway. So that, the, the, they've actually changed how like tactics, guys. They've actually gone very now. Benzema's in, Benzema's in, and that's poor. That's just poor defensive play, I think. I, ten men, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, we should not be conceding the goal Ugh, like that. I want to see it again though, because in, in the moment it's just there's three guys around him. Look, it's Maguire could argue is the biggest problem there. But yeah, we're just not like we're not really taking charge of the games since since they went behind the, the, the ten men, and that's disappointing. Well, there we go, guys. Full time. Um, yeah, um, that was not good enough. Ten men away from home, one nil up. We 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 stopped performing. Um, since they got the ten, the man sent off, we stopped playing. That's really frustrating. But I take a draw before the game. Um, but I'm gonna, I'll take a draw. It's frustrating that we just stopped playing and didn't create anything of note after they went ten men. Uh, which is bizarre. Um, yeah, not great. But let's see, let's see what the press think of it because. Yeah, this is going to be fun. A draw away at Real Madrid, not a bad result, but should it have been more? I mean, yeah, you could, you could say that. I mean, on the face of it, it's like not a bad result, but 10 men, a goal ahead, it could be more. But the positive side of the things for me is it's three games in, we've beaten the other two, and we've come to Madrid and got a result. And... At the start of the campaign, I would have been happy with that. Of course, it could have been more, but then it could have been less. You know, if they take any chances when the second half onslaught came from them and uh, their, their performance level was upped, then we could have lost the game. So it's all about how you look at it um, overall. And I'm looking at it from the point of view of, yes, it could have been more, but it was still in a great spot. I'd rather be in our position than Madrid's. Are you confident that you will now qualify from the group? I was always confident we qualify from the group. Manchester United enter these competitions to win them, not just to make up the numbers. So, yes, of course, I'm confident we qualify from the qualify from the group, but it's still only three games gone. We've got to do the same again, match our performance levels in the next three. Because it, if you don't, then you will risk of not qualifying. So, yes, I'm confident, but the players know that it's still a job to do, and we've got to maintain our performance levels, and that will, will get us through. Not these these few results won't get us through. It'd be the next three that get us through. We've got to match our performance from the first three. This is the first chance since Greenwood signed his new deal to get your thoughts. Can you tell us them? Well, he deserves it. He's got massive potential. He's worked very hard. He started season very well. Like I said earlier on, when he had a great start, there'll be a drop-off. There's been a slight drop-off now, but I'm sure he'll get back. And it's just showing the faith we have in youth at this club. And this club's all about youth. Um, he's, a, he's a good lad. He's working hard. He's um, doing what I'm wanting to do. Just needs to just keep his head down, keep working, and I'm sure I get better. And the new contract is a show of faith from the club in him. So, uh, yeah, hopefully he can now reward us with many more goals, and I'm sure he will. Thanks, guys. See you later. So, the group stage after that press conference, they were quite nice, weren't they? Really? Trying to, they were quite nice, really, weren't they? Um, I, I, I was expecting the conversation about Greenwood, to be fair. So, yeah, look at the group stage, guys. We, are, Like I said in the press conference, we're still in a good position, but we've got to maintain our performance levels. We've got a good result against Real Madrid. We've got a match in nine other games. I think we'll get out of the group. I think but I think Bruce is glad back and that so we'll take points off each other. Um so I think we'll do it. I don't sh and I hope we win the league win the group as well. Um league table, so we can look at that as well before we end the episode. We are currently what oh god I can't, I can't do math. 
Um, six points clear, is it? One, two, three, four, no, five. Five points clear at the top of the table. Uh, that's fine. That's acceptable. I'm okay with that. Um, so, yeah, um, next episode, uh, this is awkward because there's a lot of good, game, good games down here to do. Uh, Madrid as well. Um, again, there. Um, shall we come back for Gladbach at home and Everton away? Uh, so that's four games off camera then. Do those four. Come out for those games there. And then we'll look at maybe doing like uh, maybe Man City um, and maybe QPR. So we get a big mixture of Champions League, Premier League, Carabao Cup and that kind of thing. I can't show every game, um, unfortunately, because I'll be here all, all week uh, and trying to get through the season. So yeah, we'll do uh, Gladbach and Everton because that could be a game we qualify for the group from potentially. Um, um, and then we'll do probably do Man City and Q and QPR in the quarterfinal of the, of the cup, and we'll go from there. But yeah, if you enjoyed the episode, I hope you have. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. What view would you prefer to have, 3D or 2D? I don't like how 2D looks this year. I prefer the old look. Maybe they'll change it. I doubt it. Um, but 3D can annoy me sometimes. Uh, but again, I'll if you want 3D, guys, I'll do some tests on it uh, and make sure it's all okay. And then obviously we'll go with that but yeah um also comment section anything about the season you think's positive negative anything you change and that kind of stuff so i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching and it's gonna be legend wait for it mm -hmm.